Hello guys, welcome to this video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sam. I'm currently in year 13 studying maths, further maths, physics and economics. And in this video, I thought I'd just come here and speak to you about what I'm doing to revise A-level physics. For those of you that are interested, I'm doing the AQA course with the engineering option. The first aspect of my revision are flashcards. Now, I'm a massive believer in flashcards and I think the benefits are amazing. They're a really easy way to incorporate space repetition and active recall into your revision routine. And the app that I use to make my flashcards is Brainscape. And as you can see, I have decks for all 21 kind of sections that I've arbitrarily split up of the physics course. So what I'll do with these is when I come around to revising physics, generally I'll revise by topic. So I'll pick the topic that I'm revising and I'll go through the flashcards of these topics. The great thing about Brainscape is that the flashcards that I'm good at, I number at the upper scale, so four or five, and the flashcards that I'm not so good at, I number with the lower scale, so one, two, and three. And then the ones that I'm not so good at, the ones that I've marked poorly, they come up more frequently. This way, Brainscape forces me to focus on my weaknesses and therefore I improve over time. I'll maybe spend half an hour, 40 minutes on one or two topics on Brainscape. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh man, I wish I made flashcards, they seem like such a great thing, don't worry. If you download Brainscape, it is completely free. You can literally just join my class like these 12 other people have done. There's a link down in my description. The second thing, which I briefly mentioned before that I do to revise for physics, are exam questions by topic. So both physics and math tutor and my college have great banks of just a selection of questions for each topic. And these are really useful because I can hyper-focus on one particular topic that I'm weaker at or not so good at. And when I'm revising physics, I've always spend about 40 minutes to an hour on each one topic. Any longer than that, and I start to kind of lose focus, it becomes a bit tedious. Okay, and then the third part of my revision is past papers. So over the two years that I've been in sick form in college, I have done quite a few past papers for physics. However, I never really kept track of the ones I did and the scores I got. However, recently on Notion, I've tried to kind of keep track of it. So as you can see here, this is my Notion setup. And I've got all the papers that I want to do. And as you can see, I can just drag and drop from the not started section to the grade I get. And if one evening I decide to do a past paper, I probably won't do the flashcards or the exam questions by topic. I'll just spend the two hours or usually one and a half hours on the past paper and then mark it and go through it and see what things I didn't understand or I was confused by. Again, I usually use physics and math tutor for this, although my school does have past papers that I can use as well. And I just want to quickly mention that I do use the advanced information in terms of the frequency of the topics that I advise. I don't know if you can see it, but on these flashcards down here, I have the advanced information for each paper, just so I know exactly what comes up and I don't have to keep checking it every time I go on my laptop. And by the way, if you haven't checked it out yet, I really recommend doing so. So there it is, that's kind of the structure and what I do for revising AQA A-level physics. If there's anything you do that you think is really helpful and you want to let other people know, please do leave a comment down below. I hope this video was helpful in some way or at least motivational. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.